Uh. Pay a little attention to the world as well. Hey, Bully, aren't you hungry? Yes, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Get it? Yes. When John Dub, the Prophet's companion, moans like this, I have to be afraid of the fate of a prison guard like me. It's horrible. I'm in charge of the prison in this world, and I'll be in charge of the worst parts of hell in the other world. You never stop worshipping God and saying prayers. Eat it so you won't pass out. You don't really seem to be one of Waleed's men. You're faithful. I might be even more stupid. <laughs> John Dub, mm. who are those people who are faithful on the surface? Those are the people who seem to be Muslim in what they say, but they're pagans at heart. The chief of their tribe was Abu Sufyan, who was interested in wealth and power. The prophet would sometimes give them wealth and power, so he could get them closer to God. I swear to God that, that I know Valid commits sins. Whenever he asks me to go to talk to him, his breath stinks of wine. I used to drink wine before I became a Muslim. <laughs> I know what wine smells like. Why do you serve him, even though you know that he sins? I've paid allegiance to the Caliph. I have a duty to obey what his governor orders. We have a bigger duty to pay allegiance to God and his prophet, O faithful man. The Caliph is a person who only thinks about his own tribe, Dinar. I wish people in his tribe were righteous. I don't need to talk about that man Ogba. Or Hakam the Lizard, do I? You shouted about Ogba in the mosque. Tell me about the Lizard. Lizard was a title that the Prophet gave to the Caliph's cousin Hakam. Hakam would make fun of the Prophet, even after he became a Muslim. He would make faces at him. Hmm. The prophet cursed him so he'd remain with the same funny face, like a lizard. Hakam turned into a lizard. His jaw would never stop moving. I'm not criticizing the caliph just because he has a cousin like Hakam. Abu Lahab was also the prophet's uncle. They petition overtake both hands of Abu Lahab and he will perish. Akam and his sons were banished from their land until the end of their life. The two previous caliphs remained in power on the Prophet's orders, but after them they disobeyed the Prophet's order. They gave money and coins to Hakam, and they gave high positions to Marwan. Abu Sufyan is the caliph's cousin. His son Muawiya is the governor of Levant. Walid is the Caliph's foster brother and is the governor of Kufar. You see? Those thugs have emerged in Kufar, Medina, and Hijaz just because of their allegiance to Walid, Mawan, and Abu Sufyan. Dinar! Uh, eat it! You're more worthless than a dog, you wretch! Dogs eat food and then wreck their tails to show that they're grateful. And then they lick their owner's feet. You've become a wild animal. Why did you bite your owner's feet? Tell me that you're sorry. Come on! Dinar! Do you need any help? Are you blind, you oh. idiot? Can't you see that I've beaten oh. him up? I'm in charge of this prison. I'm not just a scarecrow. Oh. I'll teach you a lesson in this prison so you'll wish you were dead. Oh. Oh. Take him to the torture room. I'll do something so he'll kneel down in front of Volid and beg for mercy. Oh.
John Dub, John Dub, what do you think Vladid is going to do with you? I don't know. But I know, John Dub. Vladid always resorts to tricks. Vladid considers your crime a grave one. You turned his feast into mourning. You killed his sorcerer. Those men from your tribe threatened him with their sharp swords. He locked you up so he could deceive others and cut off your head. I'm satisfied with what God wants. I swear to God that the strike to the sorcerer's head was the most honest strike in my life. Trying to escape from prison tonight. Hmm. Then Walid will kill you instead of me. Oh, never. If someone's blood is meant to be shed, it should be my blood. You don't have to worry about me. I've come up with a plan so no one will get suspicious about me. If the warriors of the Azdi tribe find out about the secret passage to the prison, they will be able to ambush my men, and then they'll tie us up and get you released. When Valid finds out about it, he'll swear to everyone. Hmm. But he can't blame the prison guard for it because they'll tie up his hands and feet and help the prisoner escape. It would be really great if the men from the Asdid tribe would kidnap you in front of Arden's eyes. No, Dinar, no. It'll cause big trouble. That'll give Walid an excuse to cut off the heads of everyone in my tribe. <laughs> You're not aware of it, John Depp. You're not aware. I'm the one who's close to Valid, not you. I'm the one who knows how he'll react, not you. Valid is the worst person on earth when it comes to taking revenge. As the people drew their swords, Valid won't forgive their offense. Mm -hmm. If Valid does kill you, and I'm sure he will, will the Asdi tribe keep silent? Mm. You've already caused enough trouble. We have to rely on God. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're a leader of the Asdi tribe. Stay alive! You might be able to end the trouble. So Ali hasn't really been silent. It's worth living in exile all these years to have companions like you. Mm. You wretch! I'm the one who should be punished! I'll punish anyone who loves Ali. Your children will most likely become warriors in Ali's army. What, Don? Mm. <gasps> Are you awake, Dina? A prison guard always sleeps with his eyes open, Varden. That was a terrific response. The weather is really bad. Your room is very dark, Dina. Hmm. For people like me who have to deal with thugs, darkness is a good shelter. Are you a human being or a bat, Varden? People sleep on their beds at night, but you're wandering around in the prison. Mm-hmm. 
I'm here to get back what we gave you. Walid can't sleep. He has a guilty conscience as he has treated the Prophet's companion in a bad way. He wants to talk to John Darb, so he'll forgive him because of his misbehavior. Are you alone? Uh-huh. You saw these men from the Azdi tribe had drawn their swords. Mm, I don't care. They'll put their swords back if they know what Walid has decided. They'll put more men to guard the prison. Are you worried they might kill you, Dinar? I'm a cautious person, Vardan. That's why I've never been a loser so far. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a wise tactic. Mm-hmm. Surrounded. Don't do anything stupid. He's sleeping. Hmm. Wake him up. Hey, get up, Rebel. Valid wants to talk to you. Walid. What does he want to say at this time of night? He wants to release you. From where? From life? No, from prison. Walid is sorry because of the way he's treated you. He wants to make up for it. I wouldn't come with you if I had the option. Quickly, quickly, hurry up! Come on, faster, faster! Ready? Don't move. Don't move. Oh, my goodness. How vulnerable Kufa's prison is, Dinar. I was aware of the danger. Are these people the only prison guards? So, where are the rest of your men? I don't have an army as you do, Vardan. These men are the only people I have. An archer on the prison's watchtower would deal with an army. Either Walid has betrayed us, or the prison Neither guard. of them. Walid is against us, in our own land. We know every corner of our homeland very well, Vardan. Tell them about Valid's decision, Vardan. What Walid wants to do does not benefit the Ars tribe. But Valid... Has forgiven John to help. So, we're not doing something wrong. We'll take him with us as Valid has forgiven him. Tie them up. Hurry up. We were in luck, John Dub. Mm. Valid's men had been hiding behind the prison gates. If they were inside the prison, it would be a real bloodbath. Mm. Wow. They are huge in number. They have set up a trap for sure. Mm. You're not alone, Valid. Dinar! Walid! 
tricks a lot, and we can only deal with him with sharp swords. Tell your master that the Azdi men don't want to shed even a single drop of blood. We don't draw our swords if we're not forced to. Let's go. What were your men doing behind the prison gates? Well done. If they were inside the prison, they could have blocked their way. I don't have as sharp a sense as you do, Dinar. I didn't know the Asdi people have found the secret passage to the prison. Has Valid ordered you to lie to me, Vardan? Walid's order is a secret. Why hadn't you closed the door to the secret passage, Dinar? I'd closed it! Are you sure? Uh huh? Are you suspicious about me? Investigation is a part of our job. The secret door was either closed or open. If it was left open, you're to blame, because you neglected your duty. If it was closed, those Asdi people should have broken the lock on the door. <sighs> Whoa, Heldenar. Do you admit that you've been ungrateful to me? Hmm? Are you dumb? Say something. The signs show that you've betrayed us. You've claimed that the secret passage was locked. But the lock isn't broken. You were the person who had the key to the prison. The Asdi rebels didn't have wings, so they couldn't have flown. What made you betray me? Hmm? Are you sorry? Do you know what a grave sin you've committed by helping the rebel run away? John Dubb is one of those people who've broken their allegiance to the Caliph. Mm, maybe they promised you something and that's why you took the risk, mm -hmm. right? You have enough wealth and power, so you couldn't have been tricked because of worldly temptations. Even if the year after were important to you, you could have reached it by paying allegiance to the Caliph, but you betrayed me. Hmm? Maybe the Asdi people have some girls who are ready for marriage. And you couldn't stop thinking about them, hmm? Talk. Relieve yourself of this burden. I have to know what kind of promise can deceive my men. Hmm. You're ungrateful! Ah! Uh, uh. <sighs> <sighs> You're drunk, Valid. Take him away and cut off his head. Then hang his damn body on Kufar's gate so people can shower it with their spit. Control your anger, Walid. You need to be concerned about the consequences. Don't get involved in it, Abu Zubay. Sit down and recite a poem which describes my anger. Ooh. Come on! Say it now. You're sorry because you're afraid of death, right? I'm a cowardly person, Valid. When the idea of helping Chunab run away came to my mind, it made me shiver. I really thought about it carefully. If I knew my plan would be disclosed, I would have forgotten about it altogether. But it didn't turn out like that. You know, I have a conflict on the inside to overcome my fear. You're passing a punishment that's like a reward. I won't ruin it with crying or, or cursing people. 
I accept responsibility for what I've done. God will punish me for what I've done. But you've broken one of my teeth. And I want you to pay back for it. Ow! Break his arm! Cut off his tongue! And let the horses run over his damn dead body! Being killed once isn't enough for an infidel like him! Kill him ten times! Get up! Go! Go! The wretched guy's punch was as strong as a stick! What's happened, Abu Mavara? Unfortunately, Denara has been arrested. Hmm. Where did we go wrong? We didn't have a key to get into the prison. We had to break the lock. When the door is open and the lock is left untouched, then definitely the person who has the key is to blame. I swear to God, Dinar is one of the most faithful people in our religion. I can't accept that while it kills him instead of me. Dinar's blood is a heavy debt. From now on, I have to live for two bodies. Carrying the burden of two hearts on my shoulder is beyond the strength of someone like me. <laughs> the Az tribe is indebted to Dinar. It's a shame if it keeps silent and doesn't rise up to support Dinar. Valid wants to test our courage. I want 40 fearless warriors to get Dinar released with me. Put back your swords! This is infighting! You're equipped and armed, and I agreed to confront any possible attacks from Walid's men just out of caution. Walid isn't stupid. You have to fight! Wardan's men to get Dinar released. If you do that, Walid will declare war against us and he'll attack us without getting permission from the Caliph to eradicate us. We have no other option. The courageous men of the Az can't stand and watch them cut Dinar into pieces. Oh, never! What courage are you talking about? You're Muslims. This is ethnic and tribal fanaticism, not courage. The Aztis, the Aztis, the Aztis. The pride of the Aztis or the honor of Muslims. Why? Why do you want to start a feud so Muslims would shed each other's blood? You're the leader of our tribe. Tell us what we should do, John Dub.
If Walid accepts to forgive Dinar after I give up, I will surrender myself immediately. Alas, we can't trust what Walid says or what he does. Dinar will be martyred. May God have mercy on his soul. Our duty is to be patient. When faced with misery. <laughs> <laughs> Dondab, Malik al Ashtar has come to see you. Are we going to fight Balid's army? No. Balid's army is going to fight against us. What difference does it make, Abu Mabara? <laughs> the difference is it is Valid who is going to start the fratricide, not us. Until we receive the Caliph's decree in Kufa, we'll remain friends with everyone, oh brave man. War, Abu Mabara. War. We are waiting for it. May God protect you, O oh you faithful May man. May God help you, John <laughs> Dan. Welcome, Malik. I swear to God, I envied you when I heard about how you struck him with your sword. Well done. Mm -hmm. Your strike reminded me of Ali's strike in Kaybar. <laughs> you did a great job, John Dab. Last night, Kufa was full of tension. Even the sky wasn't calm. Thank God you're all right. Why did you take the risk, Malik? Kufa's governor is angry with us. Walid is sure to punish anyone who is with us. To hell with him. People like Walid want to rule like Caesar and Khazra. But they don't know that their grandeur was eventually shattered. It was shattered. Hmm. The Sheikh has sent you a message. I'm worried about the Sheikh. The Sheikh's verdict has made Walid and his men worried. Mm. How is he feeling? He isn't feeling well. As usual, 
Alia's evil deeds have made him feel even worse. Jonda, you know that Ali is the truth. He is closer than all of us to the messenger of God. He knows the words of God better than all of us. Ali is paid allegiance to the Caliph Osman, and he knows the Caliph's governors better than anybody else. You've definitely noticed why Ali is silent. Jonda. You have to know that Marwan ibn Hakim gives the news about our territories to the Caliph. And he's the person who writes down the Caliph's decrees. Before Marwan ibn Hakim judges your dispute with Walid, go to the Medina and consult with Ali. Jandab, I swear to God, if the unrest leads to the bloodshed in Kufa, It'll turn into a sword that can leave piles of dead bodies and will leave a mountain of skulls if blood should be paid with blood. Followers of Muhammad will always live in misery. You have to act quickly, John Dub. Change your horse's shoes. The fake decree of the Caliph shouldn't reach Kufa. By killing Dinar, Valid wanted to show how sharp his teeth are. Did he kill Dinar? Uh huh. And he hung his ripped apart body on the gallows. <laughs> your grief is like fire, and your burden. Is like a mountain, Odinar. My brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Please resurrect him with the martyrs of the bud and Ohad war. <laughs> for God's forgiveness. Mm. You're exposing yourself mm. to strangers again. Why should a girl your age stand at the door from morning to night? Don't worry, Father. Walid is the only person in Kufa who has lecherous eyes. In Kufa, everyone's blind. But Walid sees instead of everyone. Glory be to Allah. You have to prepare dough, wash the clothes, and make date syrup. What do you have to do with the Kufa governor's Isn't eyes? Isn't your bread crusty? Isn't the dough ready for baking? Do you have a pile of dirty clothes? If your clothes are ripped, give them to me to repair. Have you ever asked the women in the neighborhood how you should treat the wound on a baby's navel? I'll ask them when I have a child. Father, he's the messenger of the Caliph. He has brought the Sheikh of Kufa's dismissal order. How do you know that? I've seen it in my dream. 
Hmm, you're making up a story again, aren't you, Gotham? Mm -hmm. Oh, Father, do you really think that Walid will ask for the Caliph's decree in order to fight with the Azar tribe? You're fighting with a Muslim tribe? The real fighting should only be with hostile infidels. When a tribe breaks its allegiance to the Caliph, it'll be considered infidel even if it declares belief in God. These words go beyond a young girl's head like you. You were the person who taught me how to do my religious duties with a sword. Don't you remember that? Women are exempt from religious duties with a sword. Fighting is a man's duty. Instead of blood and swords, you have to think of a new life, a baby and a cradle. Why do you hate to get married? Usually mothers ask their daughters this question. But unfortunately my mother has died. Oh. My mother gave birth to two sons and stayed alive. But when she gave birth to me, I turned into the angel of death and took her life. Father, I killed her, so I know blood better. I wish I knew how fate could turn an innocent baby into a murderer, Father. Fighting with what God has decided for us, darling. Be strong. Evil spirits breathe under the skin of human beings in order to make them lose their faith. What you're saying smells of blasphemy. If you consider yourself guilty, you've committed a sin. Okay. Tell me about Walid's messenger and what he's brought. Walid was supposed to ask the Caliph for a degree about the sorcerer's death. It was only an excuse. Do you think that the Caliph has issued a decree for a fight against the Asdas? Walid doesn't need the Caliph's decree to fight with the Asdis. Hmm. He killed a real Muslim like Dina without getting permission from the Caliph, didn't he? Did he hesitate to do that? Mm. No. The Asda tribe has broken its allegiance, so it's Walid's sworn enemy. <laughs> Nobody's scared of their sworn enemies. Walid is scared of his secret enemies. Who are his secret enemies? Hmm. The Sheikh of Kufa is one of them. Oh. Father. Huh? Do you follow Walid for your prayers? Hmm. Hmm. But then, you are also Walid's secret enemy. <laughs> and he has the right to shed your blood. <laughs> mm. I'm really sorry that you're a woman and you can't use a sword. I swear to God, if your intelligence had been coupled with a sword, you could have ruined hundreds of people like Walid. I wish you were a boy, Gautam. If I were a boy, you know my brothers would have done to me what Jacob's son did to Joseph. I'm happy that I'm a woman. You men are proud of your swords. But, Father, you are not aware that women have sharper swords. Tonight they'll read out the Caliph's decree in the mosque. If you dare to listen to it, we have to go to the mosque.
Where do all these virtues come from, I wonder, Katam? Oh, God. Please, God, grant her a good fate. <laughs> 